Weather for Weather Geeks time here Thursday evening, the uh, 16th day of February here in 2017. Hopefully, you watched the news at 6, but hopefully you weren't aghast at my microphone problems. I had a pinched cord with my microphone and made for a lot of static. And You know, you spend all afternoon getting ready f to make some cool graphics and show you all sorts of great weather information on TV, and then it's kind of messed up by something you can't control. It's kind of frustrating. So uh, this is my chance to hopefully, uh, uninterrupted by any static, talk to you about the weather uh, over the next several days. Now, the weather turns out to be pretty simple by the weekend and early next week uh, with a lot of sunshine and pretty tranquil weather and certainly the warmth becomes the story. The snowflakes we had today, probably the last ones we're going to see for at least 10 days, if not more. An estimate here, and this is just an estimate of the uh, current snow depth across the region. I had about an inch and a half in Boardman. Some two inch amounts were fairly common around parts of Mahoning County and two, even three inches in some parts of uh, Trumbull County heading through parts of Mercer and Lawrence County as well. Of course, uh, southwest New York has the deepest snowpack after our, uh, our, our snows over the last couple of days. All right, big national weather story is no doubt going to be the California rain Friday and into the weekend. This is going to be a problem. Now, of course, they desperately needed the rain before this uh, winter season out here in, in California, but they've just gotten too much. And uh, oops, let me... Uh, let me back up and show you that again. Especially around Los Angeles, this is going to be a real big issue uh, with at least three, four, maybe even five inches worth of rain just tomorrow into tomorrow night around the Los Angeles area. Uh, as you can see, this bullseye is aimed right at Southern California. So uh, no doubt there's going to be some flooding problems. You're going to hear a lot about this on the news over the next couple of days. If you have family or friends out in California, especially Southern California, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a big deal, and a, a once in maybe every 15 years kind of a storm for SoCal. All right, back here at home. Warm front moves through. Some high clouds around uh, tonight into tomorrow. No big deal there. Uh, the bigger story, of course, is the warmth. Uh, we're going to start in the upper teens to around 20 tomorrow morning, but I've bumped our high up to 48 in the afternoon. It's going to be a very quick turnaround tomorrow, uh, kind of a 30-degree a diurnal temperature change from morning to evening, and that is pretty impressive, especially for the winter season. All right, the, the weekend again continues to look sunny and beautiful. Clouds door south Saturday, clouds door north, but we'll be in the sunshine most of the day, and Sunday should bring a lot of sunshine as well. This next front, kind of a backdoor, weak little front, may knock temperatures back several degrees in parts of New England. This far to the south, though, I have Sunday just slightly cooler than Saturday, but still way, way above the average. As we've been talking about, the only day that uh, records are likely to be broken, or the record, I should say, is Saturday. The uh, record is 59, set in 2011. Our forecast is for 60. The record's out of reach Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Monday's record was tied last year on Monday's date. So that's the 20th. It reached 65 degrees. We'll be short of that, but of, again, still a rare February treat. Our weekend forecast, there could be a little bit of cloudiness around Saturday morning, but I think the afternoon turns out nice and sunny. Same idea Sunday, maybe a few fair weather clouds, that's about it. And these high temperatures, 58, 60 degrees, those are the average highs in mid to late April, not mid to late February. So again, very, very warm. And no doubt uh, February is going to go into the record books as one of the warmest on record. We had a very warm January as well. And so I wanted to see what happened in previous years here in Youngstown when we had a very warm January-February combo. Did that continue into the spring, or was there some other signal? And what I found when I when I looked at the 20 warmest January-February combos, the spring that followed, about half of them ended up being pretty much average in terms of temperatures. Uh, seven out of the 20 ended up being warmer than average, and only three out of 20 ended up being colder than average. So what this tells us is more often than not, a very warm January, February is followed by at least an average spring. And in some cases, a warmer than average spring. There are not that many cases where it ends up being a chilly spring. So that's what I found. And when we look at the modeling for the spring season, this is the latest uh, CFS or climate forecast system model uh, for March, April, and May, the temperature anomalies or difference from average. Of course, the oranges, uh, that's above average. The blues are below average. This tends to have a warm bias in the longer range. A lot of times when you see white, which it's predicting to be near average, you can almost put blue in there. Whenever you see white, it, you, 
because you have to factor in the biases, the model is almost saying it's probably colder than average in those areas. There's no white around here, though. So the modeling is consistent with the analog years, the past years, with similar setups, in that uh, it's advertising a warmer than average spring. Now, I've gotten a few questions. Hey, you know, I maybe I can plant early this year, that sort of thing. You have to be careful. Even in warm springs, you can still have a little cold snap for a day or two in April and May, a late a freeze into May is always a possibility, even in an overall warm spring. So you have to be careful. You have to remember where we live. We're in Ohio and western Pennsylvania, and it's usually not safe to do much planting until well after tax day and even into well into May as well. That is it for Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. Uh, short and sweet. Uh, very easy <laughs> pattern we're heading into with a lot of sunny, dry days coming up. Have a great rest of your Thursday nights, and I'll see you tomorrow.